Okay, so now let's look at the circulatory system in fish. Now, what are the characteristics of this circulatory system? Okay, as you can see from this diagram, already you can point out to me the difference. Does the blood pass through the heart twice for this circulatory system? Okay, no, it's only one loop. Okay, so blood from the rest of the body will go through the heart, it goes to the gills to pick up oxygen and release carbon dioxide, and then it goes to the rest of the body again, and then back to the heart, and then it repeats. Okay, so in one complete circuit for the fish, blood only passes through the heart once. So fishes use a single circulatory system. Okay, the heart pumps the blood to the gills where gas exchange occurs, and then the blood is reoxygenated. Okay, what does this mean? Reoxygenated means it picks up oxygen again. Okay, then this oxygenated blood will continue to the rest of the body and then go back to the heart again. Okay, so one complete circuit passes, on, passes through the heart only once. So, I want you to state one similarity between the fish circulatory system and the human circulatory system. Okay, very obvious, there is one central organ to move the blood around. Okay, so both circulatory systems require a heart to pump blood around the body. Okay, so this heart is essential. Without the heart, you cannot move the blood around the body. Okay, next. Now, I want one difference in the flow of blood in the fish circulatory system and the human circulatory system. Okay, now this uh, is talking about only the flow of blood. Okay, so for the fish, first, the oxygenated blood from the gills is circulated to the rest of the body first before going to the heart. Okay, but for humans, the oxygenated blood is circulated from the lungs to the heart and then to the rest of the body. Okay, so can you see? For this one, oxygenated blood goes directly to the rest of the body. But for humans, it goes back to the heart first, then it goes to the rest of the body. Okay, so this is the difference in the flow of blood. If I want another difference between the human circulatory system and the fish circulatory system, what else can you say? Okay, then you can talk about the human circulatory system being a double circulatory system, uh, meaning the blood will flow through the heart twice in one complete circuit. But for the fish, you can say it's a single circulatory system, whereby blood only flows through the heart once in a complete circuit.